We like to think of Australia as the lucky country. Things aren't always easy, but in this country, at least when you've got a job, you have enough to get by. And not every country is like that. But that's not because we're lucky. It's because Australian unions have always fought for a decent minimum wage for everyone. Whether you're in your union or not, it makes a big difference. After all, 1.5 million Australians rely on minimum award wages. Unlike many other countries, Australia's minimum wage is a living wage. But now that's at risk. 20 years ago, the minimum wage was 55% of average wage. Now it's 43%. And the gap between rich and poor is getting larger. If the gap keeps growing, we risk having American-style working poor struggling to meet the costs of food, rent and other living expenses. That's why Australian unions are seeking a $30 a week rise in the minimum wage this year. That's $636.40. That's $30 that will go straight back into our economy on things like food, clothes and rent. It's a small price to pay to keep Australia the lucky country. After all, Nobody wants to live in a country where a full-time job doesn't pay for life's most basic needs. So join your union and be part of standing up for a decent minimum wage today.